Hey, what's up everybody? So this week's video was actually supposed to be my leopard gecko enclosure remodel video. But the thing is, I don't have all the supplies that I need in order to make the enclosure move and ready for my leopard geckos. So with that being said, I decided to give you guys a video of thunder and show you guys all the progress I've been making with this guy as far as our interaction and some cool pictures of him eating from tongs and my hand as well. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. This request came from Tio Filo. So bro, this is for you. Oh shoot. All right, boy, you ready? Roach. I don't even know how I make that noise. It literally does nothing. But it's fun. Come on, up, up. Come on, come get it. Climb on top. Good boy, good boy. That's right. Get you some exercise. Get him, don't let him get away. Woo! Ready? See it? You want this? You want this? Go get it. Whoa! <laughs> That's one up on him. But I didn't grab his own tail or something. That would have been bad. Jeez, bud. That was awesome. Hey guys, just as a quick reminder, if you guys like my videos and you've been watching for a little while, feel free to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like so that way people can see more of Thunder's happy-go-lucky smiling face. <laughs> Love you, buddy. He's in trouble. Oh, yeah. Are you ready, Thunder? See more of that little trick we've been working on. Are you ready? Come get it. Come get it. Come on. On top. On top. Come on. Good boy. Okay. Caught it a little fast. Next one, let's see if we can get you to climb all the way to the top. All right. Well, you better get that thing. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can get it this time. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Come on to the top one. Come on, using muscles. Good boy, good boy. That's what I'm talking about. Not really in a rush to get down, are you? Want this or not? I mean, I can always give you the blue top. Oh, okay. Whoa. Savage boy. Hey, 
glad you want this last one. You want it? You want it? Go get it. Gotta see the carnage, man. Oh, wow. The carnage is over. Mm. Come here, my friend. Good boy, good boy. You wanna go in here? Yeah. Get in your humid hide, bud. You're shedding. Good boy. There you go. Use that thing. It's yours. See how it's nice and humid in there? Yeah, man, that's yours. You haven't been using this much. Yeah, I see that tone. Yeah, man, hang out in there. You don't want to stay in there? Dude, you're shedding. You're shedding. It just makes sense. Why are you giving me that look? Why are you giving me that? <laughs> yeah, like you can't stay at me right now. <laughs> Good boy. You can't pick up Naki. You just have to be so gentle. Whenever I pick up my Aki guys, I keep my hand nice and open like this. You know what I mean? I kind of let his belly just lay there. I don't restrict his movement. That way he doesn't feel like he's being grabbed. And then look at this. See? He comes right out right in front of me, even after I put him in that box. See? Now, most reptiles tend to go off of food when they're in shed. But not this guy. So what we have right here, my captive bred mealworms that I've uh, actually ignored for a little bit. A bunch of them are actually starting to pupate. Yep, I breed these guys myself in that little tub and I pulled a bunch of babies and put them to the side and I've been feeding them. And I kind of been forgetting to feed them off and that's why you see pupas and beetles. But that's okay because we're going to start catching up to that. Right. Start off with some pupas. Ready bud? Oh yeah. Well, didn't waste time on that one. How about this one? Boop. Good boy. Jeez, bud, your head looks pretty dry. Yeah, kind of getting them on a rough day, bud. This is a, uh, guess we can call this a bad skin day for you. And it's fine. You'll look better in a couple days. But you're hungry now, so we're going to feed you now. I guess you don't care how you look, right? Right, buddy? Back to feeding. Go crazy. Me. I'm really interested in is whether or not he'll eat this beetle that I have here because it's a freshly molted beetle. I don't know if it's producing that smell yet. These guys are definitely not attracted to, but we shall see. All right, there's the beetle. I wonder if he'll eat the beetle. You gonna eat the beetle? Doesn't even notice the beetle. Let's see, Let's see if he'll get it. Oh my god. First time he's ever eaten one of those beetles. Mealworms are more of a once in a while treat for this guy. I do still love these as training treats because it's the one thing I can kind of feed him right out of the hand where I feel confident enough where he won't like get me. He gets too excited for like roaches and crickets. Roaches and crickets he'll literally just like jump out of the enclosure. And when I feed any type of roaches or crickets and stuff, I would never hand feed him a cricket because he just goes too crazy for crickets. And with the roaches, I like to give him one or two first so he calms down. Granted, guys, I've never taken a bite, but it can always happen. So, you know, I'm still weary of it, especially now that he's bigger and he has a little size on him. So if you guys want to do what I do and hand feed your Aki, hey, go for it. But don't say I didn't warn you that there's still a chance that you can be bit. Ready, bud? Alrighty. This boy does not play. those roaches the other day 
so he's just gonna be fed regular today then we got loaded on some healthy stuff as you guys saw lots of veggies and I did put some of that calcium rich gut load that I showed you guys some of that powdered stuff in there earlier so these are gonna be real good for this little guy hey bud you can't just snatch them all off my hand you gotta at least walk a couple feet come on come here I don't know why I make that noise I don't do nothing get him there you go you want this you want this go get it good boy this is what happens all that time and patience Get a little guy to act like this. What's up, Thunder? Now, when he is laying on me, I try not to pester him too much. I try to just let him just do his thing. Right now, I am an ornament or a piece of wood or a tree. And Thunder is relaxing on me. But that's how I want it to be. I literally want this guy to think that I'm just a piece of his environment. I don't want him to think I'm a barge predatory animal or something like that. So you get this guy calm. I want them to know I am 100% not a threat. And I'm going to help you get to that ledge, aren't I? Yeah, quick scoop under the belly. Because he was trying to climb this wall. I was trying to... Hmm, okay. You don't want to go that way now, bud? Where do you want to go now? Going away? Why? Why are you going away? Now, see, look. See how he just hit himself? I don't want to move that out of the way. That's like a predator moving hides and stuff out of the way, trying to get to its prey. You know, like swiping stuff out the way, trying to, you know, dig up its food like he does whenever he's trying to get an insect. So I don't do that. He goes behind something where you can't see something. I just let him go. I think you got yourself stuck, buddy. Actually, that's probably good for your shedding. Probably help get that skin off. Right, bud? Yeah. Look how clear those eyes are, guys. I know his skin looks a little funny right now because he's shedding, but man, look at how clear those eyes are. My goodness. That's got to be a sign of good health. Whoa, 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 buddy. I'm trying to get the sharpest close-up I can. There you go. No, the camera is not this close. I'm literally just zooming in. getting thunder used to being moved around inside of his enclosure and I just want thunder to be able to get used to me pick, picking him up and moving him because I know there's always that chance where eventually I'm gonna have to you know just like with cleaning the enclosure or when I redid the enclosure recently that's that's gonna happen but I feel better the more comfortable he is with me doing that because I don't want to stress him out. I don't want to ruin our relationship. And even outside of the taming and bonding, I just don't want to make my animal feel like I'm a bad thing, you know? I never want him to feel like he's in total bondage. All right, buddy? Can daddy give you another pet? I just want to give you a pet. Just want to say hi. Okay, I'm going to come from the side. I don't want to come from the top. It's kind of hard to do this while filming, guys. But I still try to just approach him from like the side of the belly at his level, and if he walks away, and the light just went out. Okay, time for Thunder to go to bed. We out.